time for a little bit of a uh, print farm update. Um, I'm Roger. Welcome to uh, not the shop, but down in the print farm. This is in the basement of our house where we have our print farm now. And uh, do a little update on it. I haven't updated anybody on lately on what we're doing or anything. So kind of show you what we got and what we're expanding to. We're going to expand this a little bit further. No, it's not the largest and greatest and biggest and baddest print farm, but it uh, it does what I need to do. I do need to add a couple more printers due to demand for what we're selling. So I'll give you a little uh, tour here on what we've got. Um, right behind me here in the corner is uh, Bamboo Labs P1S and there's two Bamboo Labs X1 Carbons and then next to that is an Anycubic Cobra S1 which I'll show you here in a minute and over here on the other side are two uh, Bamboo Labs uh, A1s and I've got an H2C ordered it just shipped today as I saw so that should be here soon and then uh, above that we're going to add a couple more printers and they'll probably be from Bamboo Labs and Bamboo Labs if you're listening you know I'd be more than happy to be one of your affiliates because every one of the Bamboo Labs printers I have I bought there, nothing was given to me no, no discounts or anything else so um, I'm very happy with their product and I am mostly going to run everything in bamboo I do have a couple of any, any cubic printers and they're fine but I am going to pretty much stick with bamboo uh, I have a uh, one Creality Ender 3 V3 printer yet that I'm going to be giving to my granddaughter in fact it broke today I had a, uh, a blob form and I've, I've got to replace the heat end on it it damaged the uh, thermocouple or thermistor so got one of those ordered um, it, it works fine, it's just I'm not a big fan of Creality, especially with their lack of tech support. But uh, I started out with Creality and it was okay. But I'm trying to get away from the bed slingers, although I do have the A1s and a couple of those, and I'll show you those. And one of those is needed in repair right now because after uh, 3,200 hours, uh, the uh, backing plate for the uh, hot end failed so to speak the the fastening mechanism for it just broke off and I can't I can't complain really because um, it's, it's a wearable item and like I said a 3200 plus hours on it uh, not a problem also want to talk about uh, keeping the filament dry uh, the uh, ace on the uh, anticubic has a uh, built-in dryer in it my AMS's on the uh, P1S and the 2X1 carbons do not have built-in dryers, but I do keep desiccant in them. I've got uh, desiccant cartridges in that are 3D printed. On the A1's, I have desiccant cartridges that are embedded into the uh, enclosures I built for the, uh, I guess you call it an overhead AMS. I don't know what they call it exactly on the A1's, but it, I mean, it, it works great. But you need to keep uh, track of your humidity. It's very, very important. Uh, I've just changed out a bunch of uh, filament today, or not filament, but desiccant today. I've got a big bucket of it here. So when it's uh, new, it's really, really dark blue. But when it starts to get saturated with moisture, it turns into kind of a, uh, a light blue clear to pink. And once it gets to that point, I uh, change them all out and I uh, put the desiccant on a uh, a couple of baking sheets, rimmed baking sheets of course, or you'll have it all over your oven, and put it in 250 degrees for two hours and dries it out perfect. If you want to do it in your uh, microwave, you can do that too if you don't have a large quantity. Just uh, it's, you put it on defrost for 12 minutes, defrost cycle for 12 minutes. It'll dry it out and you can uh, use it over again, use it over and over. So with that said, I'm going to get on and I'll give you a little bit of a tour of uh, what we're expanding to and uh, some things that have been added down here. Okay, right here is my Creality Ender 3 V3 and I've got it kind of torn apart. Like I said, I need to replace the hot end on it and I thought I had a spare but I didn't. So I have one on order and that'll be here shortly. And uh, next to that, right over here, is my Anycubic X S1 Pro. Of course, all these printers are running right now. Everything that works is running. And uh, I haven't had no problems with it. It's, it's a fine printer. But uh, 
I'm kind of uh, sold on Bamboo Labs and the type of stuff that they have. So uh, you may also notice that uh, if you watch previous videos, that uh, I've added a uh, multi-board wall behind me down here, and this is also where we do the live stream from on every Wednesday night. So you see, there's cameras set up, etc. And then I have now expanded. I put a filament rack over on the other side over here, and there'll be plenty of storage there. I need a place to store my inventory. And I've got some of it up there. The problem is a lot of it's out in the loft um, above the shop. So I'm trying to get everything coordinated into one place. And then over here, turn this all the way around. There are two Bamboo Lab um, A1s. And one of them is running. As I said, the other one needs uh, the backing plate for the hot end replaced. And not a big deal. Just something, a maintenance thing needs to be done. And over there in that far corner, um, right now that you'll see there, it's just a, a place to set stuff. And that's going to be expanded and we're going to be adding more printers and putting them over there. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the print farm looks like down here. And like I said, this is where we do the live streams from every Wednesday night. If you haven't uh, been on one of our live streams, it's at 6.30 uh, Central Time every Wednesday night with the exception of Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. We're not going to be doing it those two days. Okay, so I'm sure somebody's going to ask, uh, well, why did you buy the H2C from Bamboo Labs? Well, the reason is, uh, other than the novelty of the uh, quick change, tool change nozzles, I mean, that's going to be great for multicolor. But I looked at the, that and I looked at the H2D and my primary thing is going to be using the left nozzle on the H2C for support filament uh, because we do a lot of uh, things that require a lot of tree supports. This is one of them right here. And we, we make a lot of these and I need to be able to uh, have something else for support and not have to do nozzle changes constantly. And the, uh, the right hand nozzle will then be for whatever different colors. I did order two uh, AMS 2s with it and two uh, HTs that will be coming with it. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to mount them yet. They are going to be mounted, The that printer will sit right over here uh, next to this uh, X1 Carbon. And be, between the X1 Carbon and the uh, Cobra S1, it will be sitting over there. So again, uh, Bamboo Labs, if you're kind of listening, you know, throw me a line out here. Uh, I promote your products all the time and I, I'm very fond of them. Uh, wouldn't mind getting a little bit of a discount on a few things. And I, I do buy a lot of their filament. Actually, most of the filament I use is from Bamboo Labs. So, yeah, a little bit of plug for Bamboo, even though I'm not sponsored and they don't, uh, I'm not an affiliate or anything. Again, once, once again, um, I bought all these printers. Same with the Anacubics. They, they were not supplied to me, I, I bought them myself. So that's a little bit of a print farm update, uh, what's going on down here with the print farm. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting the thumbs up. There'll be more videos to come here on the print farm as we get them expanded. So I'm Roger, not in the shop, but down in the little print farm. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.